And now new at six, new unemployment numbers show Florida's first time jobless claims dropped sharply last week, a sign that the economy may slowly be recovering from the pandemic. New state claims dropped by more than 12,000 to just under 40,000. That is the lowest number since the pandemic pushed unemployment claims to unprecedented numbers in March. Still no word on when those $300 a week federal subsidies though will arrive for unemployed workers here in Florida. Nationally, new claims dip below a million for the first time in months. Also new at six, the dive industry in the Keys appears to be thriving. Despite the pandemic, business is picking up for one well-known Keys dive boat operator who has some surprising business coming his way. CBS 4's Hank Tester has this story. Another day out on the water and then under the water, diving in the Atlantic off Key Largo, diving one of the Florida Keys' main tourism attractions. And since 1978, Spencer Slate has operated one of the best known dive operations in the Northern Keys. Labor Day is filling up, so we look like we're going to have a normal Labor Day. Normal would be real good as the coronavirus pandemic continues. The Keys now open after shutting down to prevent the spread of the disease. That was not a good time for dive boat operations, much less anyone else. Now, people were dying to get out. They were loving it. I would say half the calls, people ask what COVID rules they are in the Keys, and they want to follow them, and what we're doing to sterilize our gear. And, of course, all the shops are doing that. And it's, it's on everybody's mind. Spencer Slate's business nowadays even more dependent on what's called the drive market. People driving to the Keys, especially from nearby states and, of course, Florida. An extreme case, customers driving all the way from Boston. They didn't want to fly. And I'm, I'm thinking flying's getting pretty safe now, but still, they didn't want to mingle around in the airport and they uh, drove down. Slate took advantage of the payroll protection plan. A number of people bunkered in the Keys during the pandemic, wanted to dive, and along with locals, kept the dive boats chugging out to the reefs. But with the Keys open with restrictions, out-of-towners are returning. And we're getting bookings from people that were going to the Caymans, to Belize, uh, to Galapagos, uh, to the Bahamas. And they're uh, coming here because, one, it's they feel it's safer and easier to get to, and they don't have to go through a two-week quarantine. Spencer Slade hoping there's not another spike in the coronavirus cases and hoping to salvage the rest of the dive season. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.